Hey guys, welcome back to the 21 day fast. I hope by now it's starting to get a little uncomfortable. And what I mean by that is you're starting to kind of struggle a little bit. You're starting to feel the pains of what you're fasting from, but I pray you're also feeling the benefits of what you're fasting for. For instance, no one likes to be uncomfortable. They were natural, humanistic to fix that. But normally, especially in scripture, strength happens when you're uncomfortable. Have you ever heard the stories where your knee-jerk reaction is like, mm, I would not have handled it that way? Man, that took a lot of courage. How did they have faith to do that? How do they have strength to carry on that way? I want to tell you a story you probably haven't heard of before. His name is Nicholas Ridley. He was a bishop in Oxford back in the 1500s, and he and three others were a part of the Oxford Martyrs. And what a martyr is, is someone being killed for their faith. There's plenty of witnesses that said when Ridley approached the stake, he knelt down and kissed it. He went on to preach a sermon at the stake, calling others to repent and be baptized and follow Jesus. Because he knew that although the stake was going to take his life, it was only going to take him to glory. That takes faith. To worship the thing that's going to physically kill you. That's exactly the type of faith he has. I want you to look at James chapter 1 verses 2 through 4. And this is where his faith came from. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters. Whenever you face trials of many kinds... Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking in anything. Whatever trials or suffering that you face, know that it's worth it. If it's just a small headache from fasting from coffee or being like Ridley and suffering to death, know it's not wasted. There is a purpose behind your suffering. There's a purpose behind all this. We may not get the answer this side of heaven, but we know that it's for God's glory, for our good, for our perseverance. James goes on to say, consider it pure joy. I remember a few years ago when we had a sick family member. We were going through a tragedy. I'm now able to look back and see how God was using the months leading up to that to be able to have the faith to persevere. And in the moment, I could look at my suffering as pure joy. So church family, we love you. Enjoy today. Consider, consider your suffering pure joy. God bless.